I've got my Paraflex trays here, so I'll put or covers sheets on top of uh, my regular trays. And so I'm going to spread this out as thin as possible because that's what we want. Make sure it's cooled down, room temperature, and then spread it out as thin as possible. And then what it's going to do is there's a nice, I cooked it in a nice lean beef broth. So you shouldn't have to worry about fats in there. I took out, I actually, whoa, yeah, make sure you've got it on a level surface where it's not going to flip when you do that. Um, I cooked it with some hot dogs in there. It's just the way my mother used to do it when we were kids. Um, oh, well, sausage or a hot dog, but um, I took those out because I didn't want to dehydrate the, the hot dogs or anything. Okay, so that's one sheet and we'll just keep going. Okay. So I got four trays and I'm going to figure each tray is going to be um, a serving portion for each person. And that usually means that I will have one portion and Ronnie and Jonathan will have one and a half. So that'll work out pretty good. Now I would, I could put this on 135 as, a, um, you know, pastas and grains and stuff like that get dehydrated on 135. But since it's already cooked, I can actually kick it up to 160, 160, yeah, 100, well, my, my dehydrator goes to 160, so I can do 155 to um, 160, and, because it's already cooked, so again, it's not going to hurt anything, and it'll just dry it a little faster, so we'll check it in two, three hours and see what it is, but I can turn it down then and let it go all night, and it's not going to hurt anything. All right, so... I had them going for like two hours last night and at 160 and they were not quite dry yet so I turned it down to 125 um, and because like I said they were not quite dry but they're already cooked so really the temperature is kind of here there so I turned it down to 135 just let them go all night so let's check on them now I'll look at this oh yeah Since it was only two small bags, I went ahead and I just used my little hand vacuum here. It's a little, it's a Ziploc vacuum, but it works with my um, food saver bags, and it works pretty well. I got this on sale for $1.05, and it came with some bags in it, too. I actually um, bought a couple of them because it's nice to have them at the cabin, too, so, um, but they actually work pretty well. As you can see, it takes a couple of pumps, real easy to work. And you know, when you just have a couple of them, it's really not worth dragging out the big old food saver for, right? If I'm doing large batches, I will, cause then I'm, you know, vacuum sealing and doing the whole works. But when I'm doing this, not so much.